Welcome to Nobody Asked You, starring Paula Poundstone. I'll be Paula Poundstone. Um, <laughs> it's a goofy little game show that has only the aspiration of lifting people's spirits a little bit during the fucking disaster factory this the year 2020. <laughs> it's just every day. Moved, where we have fires and then we had tornadoes caused by fires and there were murder hornets and and I just have annoying neighbors. Uh, and, you know, the other thing we're doing the show is because we get to do Zoom. <laughs> Don't you hate Zoom? Isn't it like the worst thing that happened to you? You know, I try sometimes to put things in perspective and tell myself that there have been generations before ours that have been through some difficulties and challenges. I mean, in the, you know, in the 20s, there was the depression and, and the, and the, the, and the dust bowl. But then I, then I think, yeah, but they didn't have Zoom. They got off easy, those assholes. <laughs> they, they knew nothing of struggle. <laughs> am I on? Am I, am I, I can kill for a dust bowl. <laughs> uh, I, I, last week we taped the, we've been doing practice shows, um, but last week we taped the first one at, and it turned out we didn't record the first part of it because it's a Zoom thing. It's just click and then where did it click? And have you done family Zoom things where you talk to like parents mm -hmm. over Zoom? <laughs> Oh, no. oh, who, who, oh, all right, I see, uh, you know, there's a little names beside you. Christina Sparks. Is, Chris, Hello. Do you do a family Zoom? I haven't done family Zoom. I've done chosen family Zoom. Chosen family Zoom? Who tells yes. them? <laughs> what? <laughs> who tells them when they're chosen? Do you have like a bird or something that flies in with a... From the Jonathan Colton cruise, actually, we chose each other. From the what? From the what cruise? John, Jonathan Colton's Joko cruise. No, I never heard of this. I, oh my God! You should go. You should be on Joko cruise. Maria Bamford <laughs> has been on, and uh, several other comedians, um, but a lot of musicians too. A Joko cruise? Jonathan Colton. He does songs about zombies. What else could you want? I never heard of any of these people. That's <laughs> <laughs> why I never sat at the cool kids table in high school. Because even if I sat down with them, they'd say things I didn't understand what they were talking about. We're total nerds. We're complete and utter nerds. Jonathan, is it Jonathan who? Colton, C O U L T O N. And what is he again? He's a, <laughs> He's a musician who sings about science fiction and zombies and stuff. Oh! I don't know what that is. <laughs> you don't know what zombies are? <laughs> what, I guess I know what zombies are. I'm not like, I, I'm not into the, uh, yeah. I don't, when I think science fiction, I think, you know, maybe Twilight Zone, but uh, I think, you know, Lost in Space. That makes me happy, Lost in Space. That's good. Yeah, but we don't have a musician. There were yep. some episodes where the ro robot played the guitar, but outside of that, no. <laughs> and he didn't have a guitar. <laughs> they were not no, he has a whole song about a guy in the office turning into a zombie, and the other folks are locked in a mall, and they have a meeting about it. Now, Christina, do they have, does he play concerts, or did he use to? Yeah, big concerts, yeah. <laughs> He He's had his own cruise for 10 years, Paula. He's like known, <laughs> but only among the nerds. <laughs> his own cruise for 10 years. His own cruise. We took over an entire ship three years ago, but I haven't been in a while. That's piracy. Yes. <laughs> we, we flew a pirate. We, we, we flew a pirate flag. Paul and Storm, also a music duo, has songs about pirates and they run the place. Whoa. For Jonathan. <laughs> All right, let me just let me just do an informal poll. Uh, there, there's a guy's name was it, 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 it's, it's E L I E L. That's Eliel Paula. Yes, Eliel. Beautiful name, Eliel. Thank you. Have you ever yes. heard of this, this Jonathan? <laughs> this thing? Uh, okay, I hate to break this to you, Paula, but there is one other podcast I listen to. Uh, it's called uh, Ask Me Another. It's hosted by Ophira Eisenberg. And Jonathan Colton. So, yes. 
He's the musical director. He also wrote the song for Portal. Have I stumbled into a cult? Yes. No, not at all. Yes. No, no, no. No yes. cult here. Nothing, nothing to see. Yes. Move along. And this is a very popular thing that I just haven't gotten, that I just never heard of. Okay, that's <laughs> Pretty I'm much somewhat right. isolated, Eliel. Eliel, what do you do for a living? Uh, I write software uh, for a living. Yeah, so I'm, you know, nerd, nerdville right here. <laughs> so you're able to work at home? I am, although my wife and I just uh, leased office space so we can get away from our children uh, <laughs> since they're going to be doing remote schooling. So yes, they're old enough that they can actually do remote schooling at home and we can go get more work done away from them. So. Oh, yeah. Well, you might go on that cruise and just stay. Maybe. It's quite possible. Yes. <laughs> if I'm invited by Christina, you know. Yeah. <laughs> you have to pay to go on the cruise unless you're a guest. Paula would be a perfect I guest. I thought you took over cruise. their cruise, though, Christina. Peter Siegel. Your... Paula, Peter Siegel has been on the cruise as a guest. Ask him. Yeah, he never mentioned it, although he <laughs> seemed to be having a hard time breathing at one point. Cruises are really <laughs> not good for, you know, the virus. Uh, I'm trying not to <laughs> virus. It's not good. Um, there's a guy here, Tim from Sac. It's on the screen. It says Sac Ram, but I'm assuming it's Sacramento. Yeah, Sacramento. <laughs> hey, Tim. Hey, man. Nice shirt. Yeah, you actually signed it for me. My wife and I met you in Vacaville. Yay! Oh, oh, had the not my butterfinger sign. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, that reminds me of BZ. Before Zoom. <laughs> yeah, we got <laughs> I was so much happier, BZ. <laughs> All right, so, um, I, 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 uh, I might be a little rusty here already. Uh, let's, um, so we're going to meet our contestants. We have uh, two, two contestants, uh, and Tony Anita Hall is the one who got us the contestant so she can introduce them and tell us how they know each other. Go ahead, Tony, take her away. Yeah, absolutely. So we have Misty who actually went to Stevens College. She got her MFA there, um, was a student of producer Ken Lisebnix. And uh, she brought along her friend, Jessica, and they met back in 1998. So welcome Misty and Jessica. Thank you, Ooh. Jessica. Ooh. That was so nice. That's a good Zoom one. Uh, so wait, where? No, I have to find. Wait, I have to. I have to push the thingy. I think to find. Um, not thingy is a technical term. Yeah, push the thingy. Yeah, mm -hmm. that isn't it great when someone's walking you through how to do something, uh, and you say stuff like, "But I pushed the thingy already." <laughs> My father was an engineer. That kind of thing used to make him so angry. He'd go, well, I don't know what a thing he is. Um, <laughs> so, uh, Jessica, uh, you, you did you you didn't go to Stevens College, did you? No. Uh, what? And what do you do for a living? Um, I own um, a health and wellness business with Arbon. With uh, with what company? With Arbon. Is it bad it's, that I uh, never heard of Arbon? Is it run by that Jonathan guy, the guy who? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, it's a 40 year old company. <laughs> it's vegan products, just health and wellness and personal care products. So it's good stuff. Oh, I, I you know, I'm a um, chicken. Uh, he's a vegan that cheats. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I say stuff like uh, I say stuff like this. Uh, this stew is delicious, and it was vegan before you put those steak tips in there. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even eat steak tips when you could eat steak tips. Um, all right. So, what do you do for that company, Jessica? I'm an independent consultant, so I just meet with people. I um, sell products. I teach people how to start their own business, and yeah. It's a global business, so, so you I can do it from home. I can do it from anywhere. So you, as an independent consultant, you go up to people and go, well, I wouldn't do that if I were you. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> yes, she does. Well, you're not going to make any money now. Um, no. 
independent consultant uh, uh, instruction. Um, all right, and you met you met Misty where? At summer camp, we were summer camp counselors together. Uh, and what? Where was the summer camp? Waterford, Maine. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah. bug juice. It was a bug juice summer camp. The first one yeah. that Disney did. Bug juice summer camp. Yeah, it was yeah. a show they filmed there. Oh, I did. I'm not from. Oh my god! <laughs> Is that the only one thinking about Hilo? Uh, right. oh, oh, the bug juice cruise. I went on the bug juice cruise. Yes. <laughs> well, Misty, so you do you remember the first time you saw Jessica and you said to yourself, this mm -hmm. is a person to be friends with? I don't know if I said this is a person to be friends with, but I remember the first time I saw her. Um, that's a joke. She has the, um, a very um, unique laugh. And we were at camp as counselors, and she got really tickled about something and started laughing so hard. There were like bricks and shit falling off in there, <laughs> and everyone stopped. And then from then on, um, she would come down and help us at the waterfront, and they, we just became friends. She's crazy. She's just completely crazy. Now, what kind of stuff did you do as a camp counselor? I got water skiing the, all the years, and Jessica started off teaching gymnastics. <laughs> but we would had so few people on the waterfront, we had to pull people in to just come and um, sit in the boat and tell us when the children fell. And so I always put Jessica in my boat. And then I was, I was from Arkansas, so my accent was so thick, no one could understand me. And she's from Minnesota. And so she would be in the boat, like, I think that kid fell down. Get, get down. <laughs> down. And so finally we got it worked out. And then after that, she came back and we always did water skiing together, which was. So, so you were together would, for a really long time. You would say, that kid's down. That kid's down. And no <laughs> Really slow, though. Really you slow. Call. Kids and, and then they, and then Jessica, so, so Jessica was able to translate. Yeah, eventually, but not eventually. at first. They would, everyone it would was just a stand and look at me. <laughs> There's a lot of tapping. Really? Did you yeah. make a code? Well, just in the in the boat because she wouldn't understand me, so I just tap her. <laughs> <laughs> so if she was tapped, she knew to stop because you were dragging a kid upside down on the water. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. And then I'm like, what? What are you trying to say? And she's like, little son of a bitch is back there somewhere. We lost him a little bit ago. Just to get to drop stuff off the back of the boat so that you knew where to go back to to look yes. for kids. Like little crackers? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> another, way to, another way to say that is chumming. <laughs> yes. Exactly. Um, I tried to learn. In fact, Tim, I tried to learn. Uh, there was a in on the Sacramento River. I tried to learn to uh, water ski, and it just can't be done. I, I, I can't do it. And no one told me about the um, how would you put it? Um, the effects of not letting go right away. Oh boy. <laughs> No said a word about that, and uh, <laughs> I just, yeah, I don't want to get too graphic, but you guys, it could be a weight loss. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, well, look, let's. Uh, so what we're gonna do here, Jessica and Misty are gonna, uh, and they can score points today for what they know about each other. We have, uh, <clears throat> we have two. Two rounds. There's two questions in the first round, and they get two points for each question they get right. And then the third round, uh, excuse me, the second round, there's only one question, and they get three points if they get that question right. And uh, that is a, uh, that is a does she know if you know kind of a question, which I'll explain when we get there. Um, before we begin, uh, Jessica and Misty, um, 
Every time I say Misty, I think of the volleyball player. Does that happen a lot to you, Misty? No, I don't normally get compared. No, it was, uh, it's always the movie that I got named for, Play Misty for Me, about the psycho with Clint Eastwood. Oh, that's much more flattering. Yes, thank you. <laughs> yes, no one, no one mistakes me for, for a volleyball player. No. <laughs> the psycho is much easier to get to, but yeah. That's a beautiful story. Is that what your mother told, told you, that she named you after the psycho and Play Misty for me? Not the psycho, but my dad was a football coach, and I was number two, and they didn't have a name. So he asked his, his players, and they said, name her Misty. And then he didn't know that movie, so he named me after psycho. But it's okay. Huh. He, he meant well. Uh, you know what? If they had said name her Bigfoot, would... <laughs> what if it was just Probably. a mean team? All right. Um, so what we're going to do is... Uh, I'm gonna have you each choose a cat, Misty and Jessica. You're each gonna choose a cat, and uh, Tony will show you the, the 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 cats. And if your cat interrupts the show today by meowing, fighting, you know, knocking shit over, peeing on a wall, or throwing up, uh, you will receive an additional point. Uh, here, uh, <laughs> um. Who are you gonna pick, Jess? Um, um, I'd like a sham. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I want um, Mrs. Fezziwig. All right, hold on here. Uh, okay. Uh, let's, let's, all right, we did the walk with you. Playing the game. Oh, I forgot to tell you about the prize. Hold on. Okay. Uh, so, Jessica, who are you choosing? Sham Wow? Is that who you said? Sham, wow, yeah, I love infomercials. <laughs> Beautiful cat. She's my only long-haired cat, which is how she got her oh, name. She's wow. You <laughs> slide her across the floor, and she picked up all sorts of this. Right. I'm snorted, I'm sorry. <laughs> now, I forgot, oh, wait. And uh, and then and then Misty, uh, Psycho Misty chose uh, <laughs> wig. Mrs. wig. Yeah. Okay, here we go. There, uh, the beautiful cat. <laughs> so, where the name Mrs. Fezziwig comes from? Dickens. Um, yes. A, Cl a Clint Eastwood movie. No. No. Uh, no. Who just said Dickens? <laughs> Jim, I think did. Thank you, Dickens. Yeah, you're right. He was. It's, uh, it's actually a Christmas Carol. That's right. She was the wife of the of, of the first boss of Scrooge. Right. Yeah. Um, and his first. Only I used my. Yeah. Wow. Jim, are you are, are you going to be on Jeopardy? Have you been studying for Jeopardy? How do you know? I that? couldn't figure out how to get on the Zoom properly. So no. <laughs> 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 Although Misty, Misty, your cat matches my cats. Then my Christmas cats on my outfit. Uh, oh yeah, very, very beautiful suit, Jessica. Okay, we wore our, we wore our suits with our shoulder pads for for Paula. I really appreciate it. You. <laughs> <laughs> um. <clears throat> all right, so you guys will be playing not only for the proud honor of winning the game, um, but also you can choose any. Uh, it, you can choose a, a, a prize from my store at paulapoundstone.com. Now, Kim from Sacrium uh, is wearing a remarkably soft tripoly blend uh, with a, a self-portrait of me on the front and a, remar a, a remarkable quote. Well, thank you on the back. And, uh, thank you very much. And uh, there's also uh, my book. Uh, the totally unscientific, unscientific study of the search for human happiness, and How about uh, a cat. Uh, <laughs> not available for. <laughs> not available. I'm happy to grant to any of you financial responsibility for my young adult children. That about. <laughs> so, play hard, Jessica. Uh, the, oh, there! Look, Tim from Sacra has the book that he's now showing you. Tim is like Tim is like Carol Merrill. 
Everything I think I did. Let me just check the list of things again. Here's Marnie Paul, though. We did. Oh, I know. We have to decide who goes first, and I'll show you how we're going to do that. I'm going to take this wall out into my backyard, and my dog Mo, who is now eating me. Oh. Uh, Mo is uh, eating a bone that used to be one of my cats. <laughs> come on, come on. All right. Mo, Mo really basically is an addict. She, uh, look at my backyard, huh? It's like the Beverly Hillbillies without the money. <laughs> <laughs> we had to bring stuff out of the garage because there was a dead rat in there and we were looking for the dead rat. Um. And then of course it never got put back in. All right, ready Mo? So let's see, Misty, I'm gonna throw this ball up in the air and, uh, do you think Mo will catch it with no bounces? Yes. Look at that. Look, look at that. You know, Michael Phelps didn't have a look of that kind of determination before. <laughs> <laughs> right. oh, come on. Come on, dog. All right. Ready, Mo? I think right here is good. Okay, ready? Oh! Oh, she let it bounce, so that means Jessica goes first. What? I think it was a that was a terrible throw. I'm just going to say. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, you know, when you gamble. <laughs> um, I'm just angry. Now, look, now she'll never come back in the house because she has that ball. So who cares about it? <laughs> and she has gone <laughs> She was going to a support group for a while uh, for other dogs that can't stop messing with tennis balls. In fact, before the shutdown, um, she was asked to be the uh, ball dog at Wimbledon. <laughs> All right, did I, get the, did I get the screen correct? Yep, looks good. Uh, okay, so I think that uh, Jessica goes first. Woo! Get ready for our first question. Um, so what you're gonna do is, uh, here we go, Jessica. Uh, I want Misty to write down the answer to this question. Uh, okay. Jessica, Misty has been training for a 50-mile run, right, Misty? I have. Yep. Yeah, she's been training for a 50-mile run. Um, at what point in Misty's 50-mile run? Does she expect to feel that's a terrible idea? <laughs> <laughs> um, so go ahead and write that answer and then we'll see if Jessica knows what you said. <laughs> and while we're waiting, I'm just gonna jog in place. <laughs> okay, that's enough. I can't even run a block. Okay. Awful. Okay, do you got it, Jessica? Oh, I'm supposed to write it down. Sorry, I'm behind. I'm sorry, I said that wrong. Misty wrote it down, and Jessica, you tell okay. us, at what point will Misty say that the 50-mile run felt like a terrible idea? I'm going to say at the marathon mark, the 26.2 mark. 26.2. So what did you say, Misty? Well, I'm, I'm going to tell you, I know we're supposed to be competing, but that is what I thought. And then I thought, no, she'll give me a little bit more grace, but I put 30. Oh, oh, oh. originally you did. Uh, all but right. mentally, mentally, she did get it right. Yeah. Uh -huh. You know, <laughs> I had a similar thing happen at the bank one day. <laughs> <laughs> I brought in. A thousand dollars cash, and I deposited it. And then I looked, and I saw that they had written down a thousand dollar deposit. And I said to them, <laughs> mentally, <laughs> what I was thinking was that it was ten thousand. <laughs> <laughs> Not how it works, Misty. All right, here's, uh, here's, uh, here's Misty. 
this question. Uh, so Jessica, write the answer down to this question. Um, so Jessica owns a rat. Uh, you know, the thing that we had to move out of the garage because there was a dead one in there. Jessica owns one. Um, so Jessica, write down the answer to this question. Uh, Misty, what does Jessica feel is the worst part of owning a rat? <laughs> I can tell you, it's when it dies in your garage. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. I forgot it was a pet. Uh, all right. So, so Jessica is writing down what she feels is the worst part of owning a rat. Did you get that? Got it. Okay. So, Misty, what does Jessica feel is the worst part of owning a rat? I'm going to say cleaning up the rat shit. <laughs> <laughs> Am I supposed to show? Yeah. Well, it's close, but I would say that's, I, I'm going to give Misty the point because are the two. Take it! Ideally, I first did think of putting rat shit down, but. <laughs> <laughs> she loves that rat, though. That, that's her baby. Really? Well, yeah, I, yeah. I should have phrased the question differently. I should have said, what's good about owning a rat? <laughs> oh my gosh, they're so smart. They're so smart and so loving. They really are. Not like a sewer rat or one you probably found in your garage, but <laughs> I mean, garage. I'm not that I wouldn't try to probably rehabilitate it to be an indoor rat, but. <laughs> you would. Oh, sometimes we're not indoor rats. <laughs> well, <laughs> Yeah. There's two. There's two. Yeah. Um, wow. Yeah. I just, you know, my guess is who's who's the guy who, who owns Microsoft? Bill Gates. Bill Gates. Gates. Okay. Yeah. I bet he's really smart, but I don't want him in my house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. I think I forgot to tell you that the first two questions are two points each, but uh, now you've seen it. Now you've seen it with action. You don't need me to tell you, you've seen it. Misty has to okay, so here's your second, uh, here's your second question. Um, all right, Jessica, here's your second question. Misty, write down the answer to this question. Uh, all right, here we go. Misty, write down the answer, okay. Like so many people in the past, Misty is stuck on a desert island. She can only have one popular book from the 1960s with her. Um, so she can't have any other books, but she has to choose between books that were popular in the 1960s. Uh, will she choose, uh, Jessica, will Will Misty choose A, the autobiogra autobiography of Malcolm X as told to Alex <clears throat> B, Sex and the Single Girl by Helen Gurley Brown, C, Silent Spring by Rachel Carson, D, M Amy Vanderbilt's new complete book of etiquette, it was new back then, uh, The Guide to Gracious Living, uh, or E, is that right? Yeah, E, The Giving Tree by Shel Silverstein. Oh, oh. So which one will Misty choose to have with her on the deserted island? We have no idea when she's coming off, but she might want her manners to be <laughs> peak quality. Um. Hey, someone from the 60s is dropped off there on the island as well. Um, so those choices again were A, the autobiography, I can't say that word, A, the autobiography, <laughs> of Malcolm X as told to Alex Haley, uh, B, Sex and the Single Girl by Helen Gurley Brown, C, Silent Spring by Rachel Carson, D, Amy Vanderbilt's new complete book of etiquette, The Guide to Gracious Living, or E, The Giving Tree by Shel Silverstein. All right, hmm. who goes first? Uh, so, uh, where am I? Um, so Misty was writing down the answer to that question. And I'm answering it? And you are answering it. That is correct. I should give you a point for unraveling 
<laughs> and, and I would be so gracious to take it. <laughs> Um, all right, go ahead. So what, so, so, what, so what choice will Misty make? I'm going to say E, the giving tree. You know, I love the pictures in that book, but the theme of it, I hate Thank it. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> it's sad, but I like it. And I think that Misty well, would like it as well. It's the story of whittling your parents down until they're just a fucking stump. That's <laughs> <laughs> and then yeah, sitting on the much. stump. And then sitting on them, right, exactly. <laughs> it's a horrible message for children. <laughs> <laughs> cut, my, cut my branches off, kids. Yeah, I still love you. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you think of it that way, yeah. Now I'll never think of this book the same. <laughs> never. It's I'm losing light here. Book. Any more than Grease is a good message movie. <laughs> <laughs> I showed it to my kids. I had never seen it before, but I knew it had like fun music. I showed it to my kids. I like I had to turn it off and make a speech. <laughs> you find someone in high school, the whole school doesn't come out and have a festival to celebrate it. I, I mean, it's so disappointing. Um, all right. So you're going with the giving tree. That's E. And Misty, what is your answer? Um, so I put, if she says A or E, I say, good job, Pookie. <laughs> um, let's see. I feel like that's pretty good. We narrowed it down. It was, but in my brain, it would have been E. <laughs> but I, well, I, I, I almost put A down, though. I did. See, See, I knew, just, I knew you thought she doesn't, she likes the autobiographs, but then she wants to cry, so it's going to be one or the other, so that's and then what I, I see. And ideally, I think mouth. she wants to cry, but then she'll write her own shit, so that's why I went with the short story. <laughs> oh, Let me yeah. just point out that you're on an island all by yourself, and there's probably not a lot to do after a little while, mm -hmm. and you've chosen a book that's like seven pages <laughs> <laughs> but misty's a writer so she just will write her own stuff oh so just use that as the jumping off point yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> exactly i feel bad because i feel like i oh. earn the point because misty just misty <laughs> fucking wind <laughs> she made her She's really trying at the at the White House. That's not good. Um. All right. So, uh, 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 Tony, give me a give me a judge ruling on that. I get. I would give give the points. I would give the points. All right. Are you just giving those to me because I don't have any yet? <laughs> that may be part of the decision, but I would give Jessica the points. <laughs> a large empty space there now that you mention it. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. I sense it. Um, well, you know what? Uh, Misty, I would love to be in the car with you when you get pulled up. Oh, let me tell you that. Yeah. <laughs> I would say, you know, you're going 80 and you would say yes, but in my mind. <laughs> question let's just hope okay. that it doesn't fuck it up for you <laughs> <laughs> See, here comes the laugh you're all gonna lose your eardrums here comes the laugh <laughs> okay jessica write down the answer to this question uh jessica loves wait a minute let me oh that's my dog mo she's barking she hates rule breakers <laughs> <laughs> I'm a real thing what she's saying right now. She's like, Misty has to just pick a letter. Sniff <laughs> <laughs> me out. It's okay. All right, let's go right down the answer to this question. Jessica loves England, and England loves her right back. So she has been given permission to bring home any one of a group of valuable British artifacts. Which one would she choose? All right, so Misty, which one would she choose? A, 
one of the Queen's palace guards. Please, <laughs> Chase. See some yummy, some yummy boiled beef. <laughs> e. Mick Jagger or E. The Tower of London. I'll read those for you again. Okay. Uh, all right. It's A. One of the Queen's Palace Guards. B. A cheese chase. C. Some yummy boiled beef. Uh, e. Mick Jagger or E. The Tower of London. So Jessica, you're writing down your answer, and Misty is going to pick one letter. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jessica, you got it? I got it. All right, what is it? It's A. Misty chose. One Misty, of I'm getting cute. <laughs> oh, <laughs> son of a bitch. <laughs> 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 we can't. We can't even play the game, Paula. We don't understand. <laughs> all right, here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do. So, all right, Jessica, now you're going to choose. I was going to say A. Well, that might have been my choice because I make a lot of mistakes. Now you're going to choose from only four choices instead of five. Okay, so okay. take out the guard altogether. Misty, okay. take out the guard altogether. So Jessica's going to write down a new choice among the other four. And don't, I guess, don't say it until I check in with Misty. That, that really okay. is my fault. Uh, um, I'm sorry, I was just following directions. Yeah, no, that. that <laughs> I was, I was, words. I she was feeding. <laughs> okay, so. I don't remember the choices. I'm, I'm going to tell you B, the choices. It's okay. B, a cheese chase. C, some yum, yummy boiled beef. D, Mick Jagger. Or E, the Tower of London. I don't know what a cheese chase is. It's so a weird activity they do in England where they roll a cheese wheel down a hill and people chase it. <laughs> 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 they think it's fun. And there was um, a, a recent one where there was a bunch of injuries in the cheese chase. <laughs> <laughs> what can she bring back out of the rest of those i'm gonna say the tower of london because it's got a lot of good stuff in it all right uh, jessica now i can hear your answer because i can't d uh, i'm going with mick jagger <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> i just wanted to dance you know <laughs> You date? don't even know name one of his date? songs. You don't even know his songs. Gonna date Mick Jagger? What does it matter? Bring him back. He'll make us money. Come on. I mean, <laughs> little sideshow. I, all right. I might go in for the financial reason, but I don't think I would date Mick Jagger. Well, I, mean, I don't want to date, but we could dance and just, yeah, do it for the financial reason. That's what I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. More right. business, Steve. If you bring Mick Jagger home at this point, you might break him. That's probably true as well. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so there was no point there where I got the papers. Go home. I should have went with the cheese wheel. I, I, I really thought you were going to say the beef. When, oh, we, yeah. when we traveled to England, she wanted to eat the sausages all the time. Oh, really? Ew. The battered sausages. Oh, the battered sausages. Yes. The ones that are in shelters. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm encouraged. The bad, yes. The sausage that way, but okay. Uh, <laughs> all right. Were those, those were, okay, so we've completed uh, round one. We did <laughs> questions, right? We did. Yep. Let's just check in and see how it goes. <clears throat> it's two to two. And really. <laughs> <laughs> we've only we've only fucked up two questions. We're doing pretty good. <laughs> With an explanation. Um, <laughs> it's a strong two versus a weak two. <laughs> um, let's just check in and see if we can find your cats anywhere. Um, so it was uh, ShamWow and um, 
Mrs. Fezziwig. Wait, before I do that, this dog is driving me crazy. Let me see. She doesn't really come when she's called. But I... Hey, Mo, come here. Oh, look at that. That is not like her. Okay. <laughs> Sit. Sit. That a girl. Oh. girl. <laughs> I was just going to open the door and tell her to fuck off, but apparently <laughs> we would have seen her do that. Um, all right. I'm just going to go look for the, uh, ooh, ooh, there's my cat Harrison. Um, there's, there's Hardy. I keep these drums here so that I seem well-rounded. <laughs> <laughs> Um, ooh, and here's my foosball mm -hmm. game. Uh, I live alone. <laughs> okay, wait. I don't see. Uh, oh, you know what I noticed? Wait. Oh, no, nothing. I was just checking on the southeast. <laughs> the little black circle down there, that's because Trump's been here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Brought Alabama into the storm again, you know how he is. Um, all, right. all right, let me just check on the beans while you're in here. Hold on. Oh, mm. oh they look delicious. <laughs> they are really coming cool. to work. The better you eat, the more you too. Do it, the better you feel. So eat your beans with every meal. Exactly. <laughs> I, I cannot find Fezzy or, or uh. Oh wait, there's Mrs. Fezziwig, but I can't find Shamwell. That okay. There's hmm. <laughs> That one right there is Fez, I think. Oh, <laughs> I think. <laughs> um, we, you know what? We only used to have one yellow cat. What happened? <laughs> Don't go in that machine. Um, okay, you guys. I believe that I'm prepared for the last question. Uh, so now we're in round two. Now the round two question, and I know it was. Hard for you guys to follow the rules in the round one questions. Hmm. <laughs> Misty. That you're more round oh, two. Oh, please. Mm -mm. So on, the, on this question, you're going to get the point if you know, if your opponent knows whether or not you'll get the, whether or not you'll get the answer right. I'll mm. show you. Uh, okay. okay. So, so here's your question one. You need to write down the answer to this question. There um, it is. Uh, so Jessica hates the way that Misty does the dishes. Uh, so Jessica, you're going to write down the answer to this question. What is the specific thing that you hate about the way uh, uh, Misty does the dishes? Okay, so you're writing down this specific thing. Got that? Did you do that? I'm doing it. Apparently it's... Okay. Okay, and, but here's the way that you're gonna score the point. Will Misty know your answer? Yes, I think so. All right, I assume you've yelled it at her before. Okay. So, <laughs> Uh, all right, so Misty, what is the specific thing that Jessica hates about the way you do the dishes? Yeah, I don't. This is um really. No, <laughs> doesn't sanitize. She doesn't think I I scrub them enough. So you don't scrub them enough? Is that your? Is it, yeah, sanitizing also, and scrubbing are two different things. So hates the way I put them in the dishwasher. No, it has to be one thing. <laughs> one or the other. <laughs> is it the scrubbing? Yeah, or scrubbing. 
Okay, she doesn't, she, you don't uh, scrub enough. And, and, and Jessica says that Misty will know her answer. So Jessica, what's your, an what's your answer? Well, she did know it, but she didn't say it. She did say it. I said she, that. I know, but I you it. have that one answer. That's a specific one. <laughs> but is that it? The way she loads a dishwasher. <laughs> no, no point. No point. <laughs> no. <laughs> Ari. All right. Oh. Well, here is your last question. So Misty, write down the answer to this question. Uh, Misty taught uh, Misty taught Jessica how to uh, water ski, um, and they went around bringing in the dead bodies of the children. Tragic <laughs> <laughs> camp story. Uh, Misty, write down the answer to this question: What was the hardest part of teaching Jessica to water ski? Oh. Um, right now, one thing, Misty. One thing. Okay, one thing. <laughs> <laughs> My guess is you used to put stuff in the dishwasher that didn't belong in there. <laughs> <laughs> or overload it. <clears throat> she overloaded it. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Hey, let it go. <laughs> let it go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Got that? Okay. All right. Will Jessica know? Your answer. No. Uh, I think you That's made. A, really... I think you made a good choice there. All right. <laughs> <laughs> the only, I think, the only true Jessica, choice you've made this whole time. What was the hardest thing? And we're hoping it's just one thing. What was the mm -hmm. hardest thing uh, for for uh, M M Misty about teaching you to water ski? Me, um, I would say bringing in my arms. Bringing in your arms? Yeah. What do you mean bringing in your arms? <laughs> well, you pull your arms and you go down. You pull your arms your... out. You have to have your arms straight. Mm -hmm. Oh, you mean? You know you... I... Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Okay, so so. That's not what I put though. That's not what you put. Wait a minute, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see her scoreboard first. I don't believe her. Wait, uh, yeah, show me what you wrote. <laughs> you have to authenticate in this case. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't take this time to rewrite. What? Yes. Show us what you wrote. That's it. The possibility of nudity. I was never oh. sure. When she got up on her skis, we didn't have, ca okay, we didn't have campers with us. This would just be when the counselors were out, but she would lose Missy. some body parts from her swimsuit. And then ski like that. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes yeah. that motion would throw her off, but it was always <laughs> funny. <laughs> so while she was taking off like her bikini bottoms, she might lose her balance? <laughs> yes. Well, yeah. normally it was just like, see, yes. Okay, we'll go with that. <laughs> Well then, in that event, Misty, you 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 said she wouldn't know, and uh, she didn't. No. So. <laughs> 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 well, she's concerned with technical issues. I was just—you never know. You never know what you're going to get with Jessica. That's yeah, true. I wasn't thinking outside my swimsuit. <laughs> 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 we recently asked uh, um, Jessica's driver's ed teacher what was the hardest thing about teaching her to drive, and he had the exact same answer. <laughs> <laughs> it's a it's a lifelong problem I have. It is. It really. It this, is, is. this is probably not good technique for writing, but if you could write a book that went to that title, possibility of nudity. I would buy that book. So. I've got it. Yeah, I don't and care. She's got a lot of stories about it. That's all I write about, Paula, is my adventures with Jessica. And there's a lot of nudity. So that's yeah. actually a very good title. No, better than there being nudity, I like the friction that there might be. I like that. <laughs> See? I like it. I yes. I don't know when it's going to happen. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that makes Misty our winner for today. Yay! <laughs>
there's anything from my uh, my shop at paulapoundstone.com uh, and uh, I, I, I'll send it to you. I'll send it with uh, your winning scoreboard. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Paula. <laughs> uh, and, uh, uh, and thank you so much, Jessica and, uh, and uh, Misty for joining us. And, uh, and you, you viewers, you audience members were so much fun. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Very, yeah, thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Thanks for the invite. Oh, thank you. I enjoyed it. Being here. Remember to love one another with all your heart. Stay six feet apart and don't get lonely. My number is 310-828-0431. I don't usually answer the phone, but if I do on your in, in your <laughs> All right, thanks a lot, you guys. Take care. Thanks, Paul. Bye. Bye. Thanks. Bye. 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 Bye.